Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Duran with DuranSupply.com where I help you design smarter, not harder. Let's make this smudged fading text effect that I keep seeing all over Pinterest. It's going to be a really quick tutorial, so buckle up. Let's get into it. First things first, you can work in whatever size Photoshop document you want. Just make sure that your DPI is on 300. Personally, I'm using 16 by 20 inches at 300 DPI. First thing we're gonna do is type out our text. I'm using this font called Hemswald Post, which is a really cool black letter font. So I have that typed out here. Now let's turn this into a smart object by right clicking and convert to a smart object. Cool, now let's add a Gaussian blur of about five to eight pixels. So go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we'll set that to around five. Press okay on that. Now duplicate this layer and triple the pixel amount of Gaussian blur that we just added. So open up the smart object effects here and double click on that Gaussian blur and just triple whatever number you have here. So I'm going with 15, I'll press okay on that. And real quickly, I'm just gonna name our first layer here original so I don't lose track of that. Now duplicate the second layer again and put that duplicate layer in a group using Command G on your keyboard. I'm just gonna name this group Effect. And now we're gonna add Motion Blur onto this third layer here. So I'll click on that and go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. You wanna make sure that the angle is on 90 and the distance is set to something really high, so preferably something in the four figure range. I'm gonna go with about 1200 and press okay on this. And when you're done with that, open up the Smart Object Effects here and just drag that Motion Blur under the Gaussian Blur. Now duplicate this layer two times, so that's Command J on our keyboard. We're gonna do that twice. You wanna set the Gaussian Blur of this first duplicate here to around 50. So I'll double click on that Gaussian Blur and just type in 50 in this panel here, press okay. And on the second one, we're gonna change the Gaussian Blur to something really high, so somewhere around 150 or anywhere in that range. Press OK on that. Now I'm gonna go back to this layer over here, the first one we added Motion Blur to, and I'm just going to duplicate this layer again with Command J, and now we're gonna edit the Motion Blur. So open up the Motion Blur panel by double clicking it here, and we're gonna drag this down some pixels. We're actually gonna rinse and repeat this process about four times, dragging the distance of the Motion Blur down incrementally each time. So I'll press OK on this, we're gonna duplicate that layer again with Command J, open up the Motion Blur and just drag that pixel amount down a little bit more, press OK on that, and I'll do it one more time. I'll duplicate this layer again, and again go into the Motion Blur and just drag that down a little bit. Press OK on that, and I think I'll stop right here. So we have a ton of layers in this group here that I named Effect. If I turn that off, it should look just like this. And if I turn that back on, it should obviously have this smudged motion blur effect that we just created. So now we're just gonna make a layer mask on this group. And we're gonna take our soft brush, which is just a brush on 0% hardness. We're just gonna paint off the top half of this effect. So make sure your primary color is set to black and just paint across the top half of this effect. Then on top of all this, we're gonna make a grain layer. So go ahead and create a new layer and do shift backspace or shift delete on your keyboard. And that will bring you to this fill prompt. Make sure the contents are 50% gray and press okay on this. Now we're gonna go up to filter, camera raw filter, and go into the effects panel all the way down here. And here we can add some grain to this layer and put the grain up all the way to 100. And you can play with the size and roughness to your taste. I like putting the size up just below the middle point and the roughness nearly all the way up. I'll press okay on this. And now we have a really nice field of grain we're just gonna set this layer to overlay and duplicate this about four to five times to get this design super grainy. And this is already looking pretty cool, but let's throw in a threshold adjustment on top of all this. We can even play with the threshold level to mess with the intensity of this effect. So this is a really cool effect and it's also pretty editable. So not only can we change the threshold level to mess with the intensity, we can also change the texture to whatever we want because we made this a smart object. So if I really wanted, I could open up the smart object by double clicking on the layer thumbnail and I can change this text to whatever I want, save the smart object with file save, and then we'll update it into the original document and keep the effects intact. And that's pretty much it. If you wanna get this effect on its own layer, you can put this all in a group. So select all the layers we just made, put it all in a group, and then just do command option shift E on your keyboard. That's command option shift E and that will make a merge duplicate of everything on your canvas. I'm going to hide this original group layer that we did and I'm going to take my magic wand and just delete out the white on this layer. So I'll select the white, press delete and now we have this text effect on its own layer. Obviously if you want to go back and edit this then you have to go back into the group and repeat the steps that I just told you. But if you finish with the effect then now you have that on a singular layer and you can add color to this, do whatever you want with it, place it wherever you want in your design. So that's a wrap. I hope I got this in under five minutes. If you learned something from this video be sure to leave a like and if you like me subscribe to the channel. I post videos like this every week to help you become a better designer. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.